Hi, I'm Lucas Whitmer. I'm a product development engineer here at the MK Morse Company, and today's Morse Minute Tech Tip is about K-Lanes, specifically on our new 14-inch and 12-inch stainless steel metal devil chop saw blades. A question that I get asked once in a while is, hey Lucas, this chop saw blade seems to be generating a little bit more heat than normal. What could be the issue? And more often than not, the end user isn't applying enough pressure when they're cutting stainless steel with our new stainless steel blades. And I don't blame them. They're usually cutting expensive work pieces with a generally more expensive blade because it has more teeth on it. The reason that the blade generates a little bit more heat when they aren't feeding quite as hard is that our new 14 inch and 12 inch stainless steel blades have what's called a K-Land. It's essentially a chamfer across the tooth edge. What that's going to do is help you with initial impacts and keep that tooth edge together longer. That's why our blades last so long. But if you feed a little bit too light, you'll actually be cutting with a negative rake angle instead of feeding with the just right pressure and cutting with a positive rake angle. The reason that's a problem is that when you cut, a, cut with a negative rake angle, specifically in stainless steels, you're going to be generating a lot of heat. And you guys know from stainless steel cutting that heat is bad and generating more heat will make the material work harder and then it'll be even harder to cut and then you'll generate even more heat. And then it's kind of a slippery slope from there. However, if you feed a little bit harder, it'll let that chip kind of come up the tooth face and you'll have lower cutting forces because you're cutting with a positive rake. Your cut will be much faster and you'll get better blade life. You also won't get quite as many burrs too. Let's take it down to the cut lab and I'll show you what I mean. So here's what a proper cut should look like. We're cutting six by quarter inch 304 stainless plate. Note, we're minimizing the cross section by using our V-blocks properly. And this is what a proper cut should look like. Go ahead and make one for us, Justin. Minimal burr. Can you show us what the chips look like, Justin? So notice how they're that kind of goldish wheat color. That means most of the heat's going into the chips, which is a good thing. That means we're cutting with the proper cutting forces. So here's the wrong way to do it. Justin's going to purposely not put enough pressure on this cut so that way you guys can see how long it takes and what color the chips come out as. You also notice a little bit more burr on the blade and the workpiece will look a little bit hotter than usual. Go ahead and make a cut for us, Justin. how much darker the color is on that workpiece. There's a lot more heat being generated here. Can you hand me the chip tray, Justin? Also notice how much darker these chips are. You can still see some that are that wheat color, but in general, they're much darker than they previously were. Uh, there's a lot more heat being generated here, and that's a very bad thing for these bl this blade and material application. This is a prime example of why you shouldn't baby your chop saw blades. Obviously, we had to exaggerate the lower cutting pressure in the cut lab today, but it is a good example of how over time, cutting with too light of pressure on your blade can greatly reduce the life of your blade and greatly increase the heat generation when cutting stainless steel. That was this week's Morse Minute Tech Tip. If you have further questions, reach out to our customer service department. And as always, thanks for watching.